all my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel where I do lots of girly and pink fashion makeup and decor videos if you're into that kind of thing you're in the right place today I have a very big box actually I have two boxes to unbox for you guys and it is the most beautiful makeup brand ever. Look at this. And I also have her. These are both like ultimate gift sets with like the cute boxes included. I have the Violet Strawberry Rococo gift set and also the Swan Ballet gift set to show you guys. So let's unbox and see what they look like. So cute. Okay, get ready for the reveal. Wow. I mean, this is so beautiful. Okay, before I open it up, let's look at the other one. How cute is this? This must be all the swan ballet. Oh my god. It's so adorable. Okay, I have a lot to show you guys. <laughs> okay, we are going to start with the Violet Strawberry Rococo set. Came with this cute little mirror. It's adorable. So first we have this eyeshadow palette. So pretty. First, I'm going to start with the super shimmery purple one over here. That looks like a very purpley highlight, which is really, really pretty. I'm going to wipe my finger off with makeup remover. Okay, this is like the pinky highlight that I would probably I'm putting that like just above the purple that's so pretty oh my god I wish my nails were done nicely for this video right now but they're in recovery mode so there's the light purple it really really transfers as pink I think pink I think I am really excited about this pink because I've been looking for like a Barbie pink eyeshadow for like when I want to do pink makeup looks. I often use blush as eyeshadow, which I don't know if that's a no-no, but I've been looking for one just like this that like really pops. I love that one. And to be honest, the blue is a beautiful shade, but I don't think I'll ever wear it. Very, very pigmented. Beautiful. I'll probably use all of them except for the blue. <laughs> we also have two blushes. Oh my gosh, this is the brightest, most like in your face pink blush I've ever seen. Look at that design though. How freaking cute. So this one is Little Cranberry and this one is Romantic Blossom. Both super beautiful and very bright shades of blush. It's going to be insane touching these little designs. But here we go. So here is the blossom one. There is the cherry one. The romantic blossom, it's a lot more subtle. And this one's like very pigmented. So you could maybe even use a mix of them, which I might. But I feel like that one's more of a subtle soft blush. Both very cute though. I am so excited for the lip colors. Look at these. So pretty. Oh, these are glosses. Pretty. 
This one is Raspberry Booze. Very hot pink. This one is called Berry Bomb. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's, it's like glittery. It's like shimmery. And then this one is Blackberry Jam, which I'm assuming is going to be pretty dark. Oh yeah, it's dark. I think this one and this one are my favorites. That concludes the Violet Strawberry Rilko Co collection in this gorgeous little box. It is their brand new collection, so be sure to check it out with the links below. Let's move on to the Swan Ballet. All right, this one is huge. Let's start with these, because this was one of the first things that I unboxed. And I just have to note the little swans on the side. The detail, it's so cute. This collection is so me. So this is the Music Box Loose Setting Powder. Comes with a little poof on the top. Oh, pff. that's my bad. I don't know if you can see all the fluff. You actually go poof, poof. Okay, that's really cute. So that's just like mattifying powder. And I have two more of them. Are these all different colors? This one is pink. Hold on. This one is pink on the inside. The one I just tried was white. And this one is purple. Let me try something. I'm not sure why I'd need purple powder, but let's see. It is pink. So this is actually a blush kind of powder. And the purple one probably turns out kind of like a lilac blush. I believe these ones are pressed powder blushes. Ooh, definitely blush. I love that color. Are these all blushes? I have five of them here. This is kind of like a pressed powder color. I think like it's setting powder. You can kind of see it. I believe the second darkest is this one here. Yes, that one is very light and peachy. Next, we'll do this one here. This one's called Dreamy Season. I feel like that's a nice light one. This one is called Romanticism. And last but not least, this one is called Silky Ribbon. That's that one there. I'm going to move on to some lipsticks because I'm very curious about these. There's like pink, um, white, and blue cases for these ones. So we're going to start with pink. This one is called Mary Jane. I'm going to start way up here. Very, very creamy and pigmented. This one's called Little Star. Looks very similar. So let's see. Very similar. That one's a very similar color. This one is called Sweetheart. A little bit more red. So those are the pink ones. Let's take a look at the white. Let's start with dancing shoes. This one is Ballet Dream. Whoa, that one's very red. And Midsummer Night. So we're still sticking with the slightly darker trend here. But honestly, I feel like this one's my favorite so far. Now on to these. That one's a little bit lighter than the other ones. This one's called Silver Moon. That's pretty. And then this one is called Blue Ribbon. I think I like the blue series best. They're more like the cool tone pinks. I feel like if I were to go with the nude, the very first one's my favorite. Okay, I'm scooching back a little bit so I can show you guys the beautiful drawers. I just filled it with the little goodies, like the hairbrush. These little poof powder things are so cute. And then of course they have the little bow clips as well. Love a good bow. We have the mirrors. I think you guys could guess which one is my favorite. They are both super gorgeous though and giving like Rapunzel princess vibes. Look at the little ballet dancers though. Like the detail blows my mind. And then in the last drawer, we have the little heart pillow poofs. So cute. Very cute for um, card decor, honestly, to hang from the review mirror. I think I might do that. But let's move on to the liquid eyeshadows. So we have two whites, a gold, 
silver and a pink over here. So I will start from the lightest color and we'll test out the white ones and see what the difference is. One maybe looks just slightly chunkier, this one here on the left. So let's do Diamond Star first. Oh, that's an interesting little applicator. So that is Diamond Star. Let's compare it to Perfect Blossom. Ooh. Okay, so this one is very different. A little hard to see on the camera, but this one has a lot of pink undertones. The other one's more of like an iridescent silver. This one is the silver one. It's called Rock Ballet. So pretty. There is the silver one here. Let's do the pink one now. It's got a lot of pink and gold undertones and it's so pretty and sparkly. I love these. And then the last one is gold. All very pretty. They definitely dry on there. I'm gonna have so much glitter on my arm after this. Okay. Now, oh, before I get into the eyeshadow palettes, honorable mention for the cute little brushes that they also included. Aren't these adorable? They're so soft too. Now to swatch the eyeshadow palettes. They are so pretty. This is the white swan palette. Looks like little chocolate bars and it looks so beautiful. I will swatch the little highlight colors first. Definitely just a straight up white highlight. Very pretty. It shows up very like pinky gold. It's so pretty. Now let's see the pigmentation on the rest of these. Next we'll go with this light peachy color. Keep in mind, I'm wiping my finger off in between all these with makeup remover so they don't blend. This is a slightly darker peachy color. Very pigmented, holy crap. And the dark brown. So there are all the colors from the white swan palette. Okay, so the black swan palette has some very interesting colors. I'm very curious about how pigmented this white is here, so let's swatch them. Like last time, I'm going to start with the highlights. Ooh, super purple iridescent. The silver is very, very pigmented. Okay, next let's see about the white. I feel like that's actually very good. Like if you were to try and lighten up the inner corner of the eye, this would be so nice for that. Here is the gray one. Oh, that is so pigmented. I don't know when in life I'm ever going to wear that dark of a gray on my eyes, but you never know. Here is the red. Very nice. I feel like these colors are going to be untouched for me because I never do this dark of makeup, but maybe I'll branch out. And then last but not least, this little black color here, which is always good for like powder eyeliner and stuff. That was like one swipe. That's perfect for eyeliner. So that is that palette. My arm is so glittery, just like all over but at least it's back to neutral. Okay, we are truly ending with one of my favorite pieces. This is one that I was most excited for. This will probably be like my daily eyeshadow palette. All the different shiny pinks and matte pinks with like the perfect chocolate brown. Oh, I'm obsessed with this one. And if it has the same creaminess and pigmentation of the other ones, chef's kiss. Let's start with the highlights. Here is the first pink, super pretty. And then this one on the other side looks very similar, but just a little bit lighter, maybe? Or just like a little bit more gold. Both are beautiful. I am so sad to ruin all these 
beautiful little designs. But we are going to do this one next. That is such a pretty light pink. I'm obsessed with that color. Wow. Moving on to this one, the little ballet slippers. That's like a really light, creamy Barbie pink, and I'm so here for it. I'm so excited to use these all over my face. Next, we will go with the warmer matte pink. Just a slight tone difference from the other one. A little bit warmer and maybe slightly darker, but it's very similar. And then the chocolatey color. Very nice and pigmented. It's like the perfect brown. So here are all the color swatches from the Pink Swan eyeshadow. These are gorgeous. So that concludes this massive flower nose makeup haul and unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and got some inspiration for your own makeup collections. I'll put all the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you all so much and I'll see you next time.